All right, so I'm going to talk to you today about sea otters in Washington State. Who knew that we had sea otters in Washington? OK, pretty good. OK, so sea otters historically ranged from Japan to Baja, California, but were heavily targeted during the fur trade from the 1700s until their protection in 1911. This resulted in almost 99% of sea otters being removed throughout the range, and about 1,000 sea otters were left throughout the range. Um, sea otters were uh, historically hunted, or traditionally hunted, by um, tribes on the Olympic Peninsula. And they did this using canoes, which you can see up here, and also spears. And um, their furs were used for domestic as well as trading purposes. And in 1778, this guy, Captain James Cook, came to Nootka Sound in British Columbia and saw that the tribes were wearing sea otter furs. And news traveled really quickly about this and essentially spurred the fur trade on the northwest coast. And by the late 1800s, sea otters were becoming harder to find and harder to hunt. So uh, hunters built derricks or lookout towers. Um, and you can see the guy up here at the top with his rifle. And also observation shacks to find and hunt sea otters more easily. So by 1900, Vic Sheffer, a longtime or, uh, naturalist and photographer in Washington State, said that sea otters were passing out of the picture and that it was doubtful that there is any chance of the sea otter appearing on the Washington coast unless placed there by man. So we did just that. And we flew 59 sea otters from Amchitka, Alaska to the coast of Washington State in the summers of 1969 and 1970. So in 1969, they released 29 sea otters to Point Grenville. And in the summer of 1970, they released 30 sea otters to La Push. These images are all from La Push. And this one shows a open water pen that sea otters were held in before they were released in the hopes of acclimating them and increasing their survival after their release. And that's what they look like floating in the pen. Uh, an important part of a successful translocation is the continued monitoring of a population. And we do this every year by conducting an annual sea otter survey on the outer coast. And so how do we count sea otters? This is me right here counting some sea otters. And you can see there's a handful of sea otters floating in the kelp right here. So we use um, spotting scopes and can count them from land. And we also can count large groups or rafts of them from aerial surveys. So each of these blobs right here is a sea otter. So I'll just leave you to count those. Just kidding. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so what do we do with this data? This is a graph of our count data um, until 2006, so we have some more data past that. Um, but this shows that we have more sea otters than we did before. But what else can we do with this data? So this line right here is a exponential growth model that was fit to the count data and allows us to know how fast the population is growing. So this tells us that the population is growing at about 8% per year. And this allows us to also predict how many sea otters we'll have next year and a lot of years in the future. And you can also build a different kind of model called the spatially explicit population model, which involves um, not only the count data, but also where the sea otters are. So this work has been done in California. And this is a figure from similar work done in California. And I will be creating a spatially explicit population model for sea otters in Washington state with the goal of understanding and predicting not only their population sizes, but also their range expansion. Thanks.